Hello everyone and welcome to Codeflix. Today we will see how to route the URL and also we will see how to send parameters in the URL using Express. So let's start. So for this tutorial we will use the get method and we will use the Express module so we will use a variable Express and require the express module and then we will take a variable called app and fire up the express method from the express module so when we will call the app it will fire the express method from the express module then we will write app dot get and then when we give a parameter let's say forward slash and then a function with parameters request and response then curly braces a semicolon at the end and let's say we send a response as a string let's say hello to home page so whenever this forward slash will be called a string called hello to home page will be called we will see how to render html pages later on in other videos but for now we will render the string then again an app dot get method then let's say we pass a parameter of contact and then the same function with request and response and the same curly braces a semicolon at the end and another string let's say response dot send contact page is called So the two strings will be called and then we will make a server by using app.listen to the port 3000. Put a semicolon at the end then we will save it and run it in the command prompt. So I will use no daemon for that and the name of the file app. So as you can see the app has started, the server has started then I will go to localhost and in the port 3000 and see hello to home page now if I give any parameter say contact contact page is called now if I send any another URL let's say hey so it says cannot get slash hey so our problem of unnecessary request is also solved and only those pages will be showed which we have defined in our app now if we want our page to load dynamically then we can also do that so if a page requests another name or an id then it will dynamically show it so i will copy this code and paste it here down then i will change it to profile and let's say we call by a name and here in the string we change it hello from code flakes to then I'll give a plus and then I'll give request dot params dot name thus it will be printed hello from code flakes to and then the name or the parameter which we have requested we'll save it and i'll again run it i'll so using no daemon it has already saved the changes and it will run again now i'll start it in the local host hello to home page now suppose i do profile slash the name let's say hello hello from codeflix to hello so as you can see it is printed I will give a space so here it's a space save it again as you can see we have used nudmon so restarting due to changes and then I'll open the browser I'll run it again hello to codeflix from hello let's give a more realistic name uh, let's say 
hello to court uh, hello from court flicks to tom so i'll give tom so hello from court flicks to tom as you can see the page loads dynamically when we make the request so this is how we can make dynamic requests using express js thanks for watching